Alright, hello everyone. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to do just a simple extrude in PTC Creo. So, assuming you have uh, uh, Creo Parametric 3.0, let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to go and just open up a new a new part. And so we'll name this just some extrude. You can name it whatever you want. You don't want to use the default template empty, don't copy the associated drawings and so you'll be left with a blank screen with no planes so we'll enable the planes by clicking plane and you'll see our datums 1, 2, and 3 pop up um, so just to create an extrude what we'll do first is be sure to click in the model tree the sum extrude.prt because if you if you click a datum it, it'll sketch it on that datum that you selected so click this part and then we'll hit extrude and then you can't really extrude anything you haven't sketched yet so first we've got to sketch it you click the placement tab and then you define the planes on which you're gonna draw your your sketch so we'll just do datum 1 and datum 3 and we'll go ahead and sketch that and it'll put us in sketching view already notice the extrude in the sketch tab so let's say I just want to do a, a simple rectangle I'm gonna, gonna include center rectangle from the templates already chosen I'll include the center right here left click middle mouse click to finish now the way the extrude works is that it's going to extrude a solid object depending uh, based on the shaded area so if I'm just going to show you it's going to extrude this shaded area right here. We're going to hit OK on the sketch part and you'll see it'll turn an orange color and then you use the middle mouse button to rotate and it's a cube. You can, uh, ch once you've finished extruding, you can change the dimensions, really only the, the 3D dimension, the Z direction, by either typing in a value of, let's just say 100, or you can click and drag by clicking this square button. And that's just how to do a simple block. Uh, many, many other extrude versions form. So let's go ahead and cancel this extrude and I'll show you. As long as you can, it's a closed shape, uh, Creo can pretty much do an extrude for that. So let's go ahead and make another extrude. We'll do our placement and we'll define it. Again, just some datums. It doesn't really matter for this particular purposes. We're just learning how to do an extrude. So I want to go to sketch and let's say I want to do a circle. We'll just do a circle and notice how it's shaded. I hit OK and it'll make a cylinder. It's pretty much just that simple. You can play around with extrude if you want. Let's try one more. Maybe do something hand drawn. And data one, datum three. And so we're back in the sketching view now and let's see let's do a line chain I'm gonna hand draw this so let's say I want kind of like a picture frame meaning that I only have the edges and let's line those up and then those notice how it detected it detected the area between two complete objects so that's what it's going to shade in which is exactly what I wanted anyways you can adjust the dimensions if you want to and you hit OK so it'll extrude and there you go you have well this doesn't really look like a picture frame does it let's shorten this up a bit now it looks more like a picture frame or just some sort of frame a very badly shaped frame, but there you have it. That's how you use the extrude feature here in Creo.